Zelle and this is my channel and Zodia and what palette is Zodiac okay today's Zodiac so we're gonna be talking about Aries and today's Crayol word of the day is Batai which means fight because everybody knows the sad reputation of Aries and the very misconceived reputation of Aries is that they love to fight they love to cause problems and they're aggressive is all hell so we're gonna break all of that down because it's just so funny Aries is actually one of my favorite zodiac signs okay fiery zodiac the one that a lot of people be afraid of a lot of people are just kind of sick of because their personalities are very all over the place they are known for being extremely moody extremely all over the place very impulsive but they're very very lovable when you get to know them if they give you the opportunity with that being said of course make sure you guys peek the description box for all the information that you guys always ask me about down below go subscribe to my main channel get your merchandise and make sure you comment down below what's your zodiac i'm a capricorn so who better to do this video i'm going to link down below my other videos about the signs that i've made please make sure you check out my pisces video we're going down the line kind of trying to go in the order of the zodiacs as they come throughout the time so happy early birthday to the aries happy birthday if today's your birthday happy belated if you're watching this after two of my closest best friends are actually aries and capricorn is an aries honestly i feel like it's like a match made in heaven we we both bold we both crazy we both don't know how to keep our mouth shut and for the most part we know how to cut each other up without crying about it so let's get into this crazy sign ruled by the planet of Mars so of course Aries season falls between March 21st to April 19th their element is of course fire their color is red their quality is cardinal now cardinal signs tend to really come up with very very innovative ideas they're very brilliant honestly but they kind of struggle to follow through with said ideas and i am gonna stunt a lot of my airy friends are probably like you talking shit about me kinda they kind of remind me of virgos with this they come up with so many great ideas they're so good at giving advice but a lot of times when it comes to them following through sometimes they kind of fall short and it's not really a fear thing it's just eh, it just don't happen now some celebrities that you know that are aries are mariah carey jackie chan and Leonardo da Vinci and they're most compatible with Leo and Libra now the best thing about Aries is what you see is what you get Aries is the first zodiac they lead okay they are natural born leaders they are very headstrong very stubborn but I mean they're number one literally number one in the zodiac number one to lead and let's be real their sign is the damn ram what do you expect <laughs> they're bold and ambitious and like I said before they're very impulsive and since most zodiacs kind of learn from the sign before them and they're the first they don't have nothing to go by so they kind of just um do now and think later which is kind of an issue but I mean you gotta love it it's annoying you gotta love it they're also a zodiac that really don't like to take advice they take advice later they're the type to be like yeah remember when you told me to do this yeah i didn't listen but like yeah i know i'm wrong it was fucked up but here's what happened but i mean oh well like they're that type of sign but at least they acknowledge their faults they're the type to take the advice later on they're not the type to fall flat on their face a couple times but most of the time they're not gonna listen to you the first time i've never known an aries to give up ever i don't think aries knows what giving up means they are extremely bold and they will never ever say no to a challenge Challenge. they are one to take on any dare okay if you ever have a child that's an Aries good luck because you're probably going to have a lot of hospital pills because they're gonna be the ones that's doing all the dares okay if they playing you over there they're gonna be like uh -huh, I'm doing it okay you're not you, you I ain't no punk mama ain't raised no punk they're that type of person they like to learn lessons the hard way they don't like being told what to do they're very much so i like to do things my way and you're not going to tell me what to do because at the end of the day i'm me and um that's that i really don't give a shit what anyone has to say about it 
they have a horrible temper they're known to be very moody and it's really crazy because personally most aries i know never got a temper with me but that's because if you know any aries and they never got a temper with you that's probably because they come to tell you it's because you're not stupid okay aries think that they know everything aries think that they always right aries think that everybody should do things that they say because at the end of the day you don't have to piss them off and the reason they're going off on everyone is because everyone is pissing them off and they shouldn't be doing that they're the leaders and you follow the leader and if you follow the leader you wouldn't be having these problems <laughs> seeing that aries get mad is so entertaining because most of the time aries be getting themselves mad okay aries is the type to literally cause a problem for their own entertainment and they get mad at themselves when the problem is actually started they the type to light a match near gasoline and then be mad when the house come ablaze it's like how, well aries you started the damn problem you can't start conflict and then be confused when there's conflict like aries aries what did you expect aries oh my god they are naturally very very brave and they're not afraid of risk they're not afraid of trial they're not afraid of confrontation they're not afraid of any of that shit okay throw them in a fire and i guarantee you they're gonna come back unscathed okay but even though they have all of these traits that kind of sound a little bit scary they're so fun they're youthful they're spontaneous they're the type of friend that you can take to do anything in terms of like a roller coaster for the first time swimming for the first time like they're gonna do anything with you in terms of like spontaneity like they're really really fun you want to go to a party you want to stay out late you want to sneak out you want to air that type of friend but funny enough most aries i know are not like this they're really chill they're really calm like two of my best friends they're not doing none of that goofy shit they just looking at you like yeah bitch i'm gonna stay home and i'm gonna watch my movie but for the most part other aries that aren't my close friends like the aries that i know in general like most men that i know that are aries are like this like they're like oh my god like bouncing off the walls yeah 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 like turn up eh, eh. It's so cool because like they're so fun and they so dead entertaining But it's just like sometimes you kind of want to give them some Ritalin because they gotta calm the fuck down Just a little too lit. What's amazing about Aries is they will dominate any task that you give them It's actually pretty scary because they will do it with a swiftness It's as if like they could have had like an assistant on the back end doing it for them Okay, you give them something to do and it probably would have cooked them five hours They'll do it in like two max three they are are so good at handling pressure I don't even think they feel pressure so if you ever want to hire somebody and you're trying to go based off zodiacs an Aries is probably a good person because they will never crumble under any pressure but you gotta watch out because they kind of like being in charge they like being the one to call the shots they want to be the boss they don't want to be bossed around or they do better in situations where they don't have to be micromanaged they do not like people hovering over them they just like to do their own thing they're like you know give me the work it's gonna get done Leave me alone they're those types of people now positive traits include everything that i just said kind of depending on how you look at it but they are loyal like i said brave passionate motivated confident hardworking, leaders innovative independent okay you remember that song i-n-d-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t do you know what that means i guarantee you that song was made for the aries okay they're very independent if you ever have a child that's an aries good luck with that they're they're probably gonna be walking straight out the womb. They're very independent, okay? They're, they're, yo, just like a Capricorn, probably. A Capricorn, Aries, two very, very independent signs. They do not really like being helped. If they're sick, they don't like people, like, kind of, like, pouting over them. They don't like asking for help. They're very, very self-sufficient. Um, also, if you have a child that's an Aries and you are in a strict household, I'm telling you this right now, they also, I'm actually gonna get to this a little bit later and touch on it a little later. They don't like being stifled. They don't like strict households. They don't like people basically trying to stifle that whether it's their creativity their freedom whatever it may be but again I'm gonna get into that a little bit later again spontaneous and they are competitive now this is a good thing mainly because they're competitive with themselves I will tell you this right now when it comes to getting ready um, to be with an Aries I never tell them the right time I tell them um, an hour beforehand because they like to compete with themselves in terms of oh my god I gotta look so good not for all these other hoes in the room because I already know I look better than
in these hoes in the room. But because I gotta look better than what I looked like last time I went to this event last year. I gotta make sure I look skinnier, prettier, better than I did last year. They in competition with themselves all the time. Good because it's not like they're trying to compete with you. It's not like they're trying to be better than you. But it's just like, God damn, it's exhausting. Because if you try to tell them, oh, we gotta be here at three, best believe you're gonna be there at five. Because they, they changing their outfit, they changing their makeup. Then by the time, if, they, if they're not satisfied, nobody's satisfied. Wow, bro, like, you, wow, you shysty. You, you a hater, bro, you a hater. So you really, you really not gonna let me change? All right, you sure this look good on me? They be on time, kind of, but like, when it comes to this look, like, you gotta tell an Aries that you doing something a week in advance. Because they gotta literally go through their whole closet to look better than the last time that they stepped outside. It's ridiculous, okay? And the next really good quality that they have, and I feel like every Aries in my life is like this, is that they're inspirational. They will inspire you to do better within yourself, even if for whatever reason they're not where they want to be in their life. They will make you motivated, okay? And they're non-judgmental. It's weird, because I feel like a lot of people think Aries are judgmental because they're so aggressive and they're gonna tell you about yourself, but I don't, I've never got that from them. Like, I never got that they are judgmental and they're, I, I, I never did. I feel like they're gonna tell you about yourself, but they're not gonna condemn you. I feel like there's a difference between judgmental and condemning. I feel like Capricorns are judgmental as fuck. <laughs> Capricorns are judgmental and they may condemn you. I don't condemn people. I am judgmental. People that be like, I don't judge. That's a fucking lie. If you see a crackhead and they coming up to you and you know they're going to ask you for a dollar, what's, what's your instinct? Look down, act like you can't hear, act like you're on the phone or you cross the street. That's judging. Everybody's a little bit of judgmental. So I don't want to hear that shit, women. For the most part, most Aries are judgmental, but they're not going to condemn you. If anything, an Aries is going to try to build you up and help you do better. But they probably gonna tell you about yourself in a way that you don't want to hear it first But they're always going to give follow-up advice to basically help you get to where you need to be now Here are the in-betweens because I realized for my Pisces. I was like shit This is actually a good quality, but I don't see it as one So now I'm gonna insert a little thing that's the in-between type of qualities There's probably a better word for this, but we, we just gonna call it the in-between so I get a better word for this Okay, so they are very very easy to fall in love. It's very annoying. Okay, they fall in love and they fall in love hard and if they get heartbroken they don't get over that shit it's so fucking annoying now i know i'm calling out a lot of you y'all need to get over it okay if you're an aries and you know damn well someone plead the hell out of you played you like a fiddle block the number block it block it please just get it out of your life get it out of your system you know what you do to me do to me block it yeah y'all got all this fire but y'all don't know how to burn it the fuck down let it go it gets on my nerves it's so crazy but i think it's because aries don't like people People that often most Aries I know are not fucking and sucking any and everything they not thought okay most of the time they're not gonna just let anyone and everyone into their heart into their lives and into their circle they're very quick to cut people off as soon as they know your intentions are not pure as soon as they know that you ain't shit they gonna cut you off but sometimes some people slip through the cracks and they do get played and when that happens and they already done fall in love it's over it's over that because they're, they're gonna let everything slide and that's the problem that I can't stand with them and we're gonna get into that that with the negatives let's finish the in-betweens they are blunt and direct now this would probably be in the negatives for most people I honestly see it as a positive but for most people it'll be an in-between I personally see it as a positive because I'm blunt as fuck and I feel like I'd rather people be direct with me but I'm gonna put it as an in-between mainly because at the end of the day it's a double-edged sword um if you're too direct with people they're not gonna like that if you're not too direct with people it hurts people so it's like yeah it's good to always say what's on your mind but at the same time that's not not always a good thing because when you don't say what's on your mind things kind of get misconstrued and miscommunicated and if you're trying to coddle people's feelings that doesn't really help them either so it's like Aries I don't think they understand that message Aries is gonna say any and everything I don't think there's any sign that's more blunt than a Capricorn besides a Virgo and an Aries Aries be hurting everybody's feelings that shit crazy they will make you feel like you ain't never done anything in your life like nothing cuts harder deeper spicy than the tongue of an aries never ask an aries for advice because they're really gonna just make you feel like shit like i don't even know if blunt is the right word i, I don't know aries is just me <laughs> oh shit okay <laughs> I love y'all so much. Some of y'all. They just come with the fire. They just be like, you need to do this. You need to do that. You stupid as hell. You dumb. You a bum. You need. Oh, God. Relax. They will really cut. 
to your soul and that's not okay but in retrospect they're actually some of the most generous people you will ever be if they like you if you don't piss them off if you got your life together if they genuinely see you as a true friend a true family member someone that they truly love I kid you not they will give you the last dollar one of my best friends literally helped me through college when my parents didn't do shit not even joking like y'all know Sunsia Sunsia she's one of my best friends she's an Aries I literally slept on her floor when I was homeless one time like that is the type of person that an Aries is even Tisha when I was homeless in high school I slept at her house you know two of my bestest friends are Aries those are the people that helped me out when I was homeless when I couldn't pay shit so if anything ever happens to them I don't give a fuck I will be there for them point blank period Aries is the friend that everybody needs because if they like you and if they accept you they will do any and everything for you the negatives and my first negative and I've talked about this before on my other channel when I brought up um I think negatives of zodiacs that I don't like and it was that Aries will buck and fight and go after any and everybody but when it comes to themselves they will not defend themselves and a lot of you are like no what 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 listen to what I'm talking about so when it comes to their friends and family they will fight okay they will fight a stranger in Walmart they will fight a stranger at Dollar Tree they will fight anybody when it comes to protecting their kids their boyfriend their girlfriend their wife whatever they will protect you but when it comes to their loved ones like so me like say if I burst out one of my best friends they're not gonna say shit to me when it comes to their loved ones coming at them attacking them and coming at them they're not going to defend themselves it's so interesting because strangers they'll cut their heads off people they love they will not and it's so interesting because that's how much they love the people who love them they would never raise their voice towards them they would never cut them off they would never ever dare defend themselves against the people that hurt them or the people that even raise their voice towards them which is so interesting because sometimes it's just blatant and they can see it and they know it they won't even complain about it they'll just be like yeah this person did this and it's fucked up and bitch where's the fire the fireplace is, is closed i'm confused where's the charcoal bitch do you need some charcoal you need some gasoline that's the quality of an aries that i don't like but i guess i understand it but i don't like it and it's something that i wish would be erased okay of course we have other negatives like impulsivity combative aggressiveness confrontational um i think being confrontational is also a good thing so i guess we could put that in the in between a type of box as well they don't take advice well i did mention that before it's just it's a waste of time to give these people advice because they, they think they know it all anyway again like i said impatient and moody um they are short-tempered they like to start shit for fun also like i said they think everything is a game they can win they are easily bored okay they're the type of people that if you're like dating them and maybe they're like hang right maybe they just don't like you for whatever reason you're not taking them on enough dates you're just boring you're not stimulating them in conversation they will not hesitate to dump you and they will be very cold about it they are not going to care about your feelings and the sad part it is i don't think they will think twice about it <laughs> like, so when it comes to relationships like i said they fall hard they are very very quick to fall in love but at the same time they're very very careful who they choose to fall in love with they like to take initiative they're usually the ones to come up to you first whether they're male or female they're gonna be the one to tell you how they feel about you you're not going to be confused okay you're not gonna be like oh does he like me does she like me oh no no they're gonna tell you um listen i'm trying to fuck. Mm, listen i want a relationship uh listen i'm trying to get married so if you're not here for that bye they're not going to delay they're not going to do any type of circles with you if they really don't know they're gonna tell you i don't know what i want yet come back later but if they truly do fall in love with you it's you're stuck when they're in love they shower the person they're in love with with a little bit too much affection in my opinion it's a lot of times not even deserved especially if it's for the wrong person or if it's for someone that they're just settling for a lot of times they end up kind of like how do i explain that a lot of times i feel like aries be settling like it's so weird especially when it comes to the time where it's like oh well i had a goal to be married by like 27 so now it's like okay well i'm just gonna get married to this person because i've been with them for this long anyway like they're that type of person where it's like okay well time's running out i'm 38 so let me just pick up this person that can't read aries that's them and it's weird because you wouldn't see that for them but a lot of aries end up with the most interesting people so what are you doing with this beach bum that be living in a motel for the past eight months i don't understand like how did this happen explain the story when it comes to family they're extremely ambitious they want to be independent they want to do their own thing they thrive in very liberal family 
families. So for those of you guys who have kids that are Aries and you're confused as to why your kid is bouncing off the walls, sneaking out at night, smoking, drinking, partying, you have a fiery child with a fiery spirit and you're suffocating them and you're doing too much. If you're trying to tame your child, understand most of the time an Aries knows what they're here to do, okay? Aries is born knowing what they want to do, how they want to do it, and how they're going to do it. I, I don't know how, but they born with the master plan. They don't need you to tell them what to do, how to do it, where to do it, why to do it. They don't need that. And if you're trying to do that to your Aries child, I guarantee you they're going to be out of the house by the time they can get out of the house, okay? They're probably looking up right now how to be emancipated. And if you do not want a bloodbath on your hands, a court case on your hands, I suggest you ease up a little bit. These kids are rambunctious as all hell. And they're the type of people that you see that cut off their families very early. They're the type of kids that you see that end up literally having no friends and they don't give a fuck about it. They don't care for ties with people that are stifling them. They do not do well when people are on top of them, literally telling them what to do and how to do it. It's, it's, it's a very, very important thing for them, for them to be able to flourish and thrive and not have people basically on top of them because if they do they're just going to leave it's very rare like I don't think I know many Aries that were raised in basically sheltered households but the one I do know okay the ones that I do know that were raised in sheltered households it just it didn't end up well okay they ended up having attitudes the parents is mad as hell they saying that they did that a third they calling them selfish child's not selfish you're just a piece of shit <laughs> you're stifling your damn child like the child can't even go outside the child can't go to the movies the child can't go to prom like how like the child can't even live you know so ease up a little bit especially if you're you know in one of those conservative families like it's it's not the best environment for an aries now when it comes to money and career, this is where they thrive, okay? They do like to be in charge, they like to be left alone, they do not like to be micromanaged. However, they're really good at saving and they're really good at spending, but for whatever reason, some way, somehow, they're really good at saving for a rainy day and whatever it is that they do spend or splurge on, they're good at making it back immediately. So you never have to worry about them in that regard. They really thrive in careers where they're able to be the head, they're able to basically show off their skills. A lot of times you see the athletic type of feeling Fields or just any field where they're able to lead people and if you put them in a area where they can lead I guarantee you they're gonna lead you to success because that's what they do they're often very very successful they do often reach their goals and the only times that they don't reach their goals is if they are being stifled they are with the wrong person they are really depressed for whatever reason if they are around the wrong crowd if they fall to you know of course substance abuse stuff like that they're not mentally diagnosed with something you know like things like that like really extreme cases but for the most part Aries really does thrive if they really find what they want to do know what they want to do and they actually execute that plan sometimes it doesn't happen though I have met a lot of Aries that just fall off the path and those people are really scary those are the Aries that probably do get those um, reputations of being really aggressive and really combative for real for real because honestly let's be real anyone who doesn't know what they want to do or isn't doing what they want to do is going to be a very a lot of aggressive let's be real so realistically Aries is hands down one of my favorite signs. I absolutely love them. Two of my best friends are Aries and I know a lot of Aries and I definitely would love to know what you guys think about Aries down below. What do you think about this video? Of course, make sure you comment your zodiac signs and what other videos would you like me to do regarding zodiacs down below. Of course, make sure you guys peep the description box, get your merchandise, comment, follow my main channel, like, share, subscribe, do all that and I'm gonna see y'all next time. Bye!